Hey guys, welcome back to the best channel here on YouTube. And today we're gonna be talking about my dreadful but now beautiful natural hair journey. So as you read in the title, I did get heat damage three times. And we're gonna start off with the first one. So this was in May of 2015. And you know, my hair is nice and natural. I have finally um, transitioned fully from the permed hair that I had. And you know, I was so happy at my curls because it was the first time I ever seen them. And I get it straightened and you know, nothing happens. I wash it, my hair is curly again. And you know, I go back a couple months later, you know, just to get another trim at a Dominican salon. And y'all don't even want to see the next picture because mm, that's just, mm. it's just like, how did we get here? How did we get here? Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know how we got here, but we did. And you know, this is my first time experiencing heat damage. I don't know what to do. I'm searching up on Google. I'm like, um, I'm like, you know, what can be done? How can I get my hair back? And, you know, I tried the protein, effigy mask. I tried using mayo and eggs. I tried everything. And, you know, they say these things work. And they help you get a little bit of your curl pattern back. But once you get heat, then the proteins of your hair are denatured. And, you know, you're just not going to get that full curl back. It's going to be thin. It's not going to be the same. I realized that the only way to get rid of the damage was to cut my hair. So... I cut my hair and I got braids in July and now you're going to see that I took those braids out and I cut my hair and now it is April and between that span of time from June to April I kept protective styling. That is the one tip in this video that you are going to learn really is effective. Y'all don't judge me, I got my hair straightened again. And you know, the first time I was like, I would never, ever, ever get my hair straightened again. Then it had. But then social came up. And I didn't have any other hairstyle to do. You know, I wasn't wearing wigs or any of that yet. So I decided, you know, my hair has grown back. Let me just get my own hair done. You know, that's what I do. I said, I'm just going to get um, a blow dry. Not even a blow dry. I'm just going to get pink curls, which means I'm just going to put it in some rollers and then blow dry it into the curls, whatever, after. You know, and I had got that done before, but on permed hair. I went again, and for some reason, this lady did the most. She proceeds to put me under the dry with rollers, then she blow dries my hair straight, then she straightens my hair, and then she curls it. She doesn't do it in one step, nope. She straightens it and then curls it in on its own. I kinda already knew that I had heat damage, by the way everything went and you're gonna see the results she she got heat damage again y'all you would think she learned her lesson the first time but she didn't so now my hair is fried dried thin and laid to the side and i'm just like okay let's go back to over lightly and i start protective styling again and that's when you're gonna see the next clip of February 2017. So I, from June 6, 2016 to February 2017, I literally only had braids. And it even progressed after that. I literally did not stop getting braids until June. So you know, here we are in June. My hair has reverted back, it's grew back, it's all curly. I grew like six whole inches and either the heat damage fell off or I had been cutting it off so it was only about an inch or less left. For some reason, I decided, okay, I really, I really wanna get a trim. My hair is breaking off, I'm seeing the breakage at the ends and I'm gonna get a trim. So I, I wanna get it, you know, some type of stretched. Big mistake. Look, I got it blow dried, blow dried. I didn't get any other type of heat. I literally only got my hair put in a roller set and blow dried. And look, just look, number three, that is the third time your girl got heat damage within a span of only two years. Like that is sad. You would think your girl learned her lesson, but she didn't. That last time, I, that was the last strike. 
three strikes i was out no more getting my heat on my hair okay so it is august 2017 and my hair isn't as bad but as you can see in the back the heat damage is definitely still there but i still have some type of you know fullness and thickness so i protective style all the way up until literally october 2018 y'all and you're gonna see how much my hair grew because i literally had no more heat damage at that point everything was gone either cut off or again it fell out y'all just look at this beauty you would never think that in just a year my hair could recover like this so you know i already know i'm never straightening my hair again yes i'm hopeful yes i am hopeful y'all she did it again she straightened it again but this time she was smart she went to a natural hairstylist and she did in fact did not get heat damage clap it up y'all clap it up thank you thank you so as you can see my hair is doing nice it's so beautiful and the only problem was i was not retaining as much length so i did protect the style i think i got nautilus braids in between um november and january and i took it out in january my hair grew of course and then i kept it out up until march and actually i'm lying i got nautilus braids again and then in march through june i was wearing my hair out until i got a, I put on a wig in june and then i protected styled all the way from june until january so from june 2020 to january i protected styled and i got nautilus braids in september of 2020 which I kept for two months and then I turned them into butterfly locks which I kept in for two months also pulling up to four months and this is my hair afterwards it is now mid back length and y'all the answer is again protective styling that is the best way to retain length because you can trim your hair as much as you want but you might always get split ends just the best way is just to keep out of it Look at me now, ayy, look at me now, ayy. Y'all, my hair was so beautiful. And we have come to an end. Thank you guys for tuning in to the best channel here on YouTube. Leave any questions you have down below.